So whether you talk about uh, uh, automatically converting content through machine translation or it is through or providing user interfaces through voice like uh, speech to text, ability for, uh, for understanding natural language uh, queries, uh, ability to search in multiple languages. So there are various kind of activities which are required for user engagement and we have, uh, we have a platform that we are exposing to, to these developers to build different kind of uh, use cases, different kind of solutions to business problems that they can solve using our, prop, uh, using our platform. So uh, RevHack is a first event, uh, first Indian language hackathon that we have come up with where using these APIs very interesting use, use cases can be uh, built. So there are, to give you an example, there are use cases around how do you build, uh, uh, build engagement for people who are not, uh, who are, who are uh, physically challenged as well in terms of their ability to speak and ability to listen. Uh, then uh, uh, how do you make news content available in multiple languages? travel content make, uh, uh, available in multiple languages, right? Then uh, uh, same language subtitling, then dubbing of content. So as you can see, there are multiple varied kind of use cases. Now as a company, we, do, we ourselves don't build these use cases ourselves. So we are exposing this platform to the developers so that they can use our APIs in the platform to build and solve various kinds of business problems. Uh, these APIs are meant for uh, developers. In the uh, earlier, also I just explained to you that uh, we are, even though we are a technology company and we have our engineers, we are focusing on building this platform, building these APIs. But we are not building all the possible solutions to business problems that our platform can really enable. So therefore it was important to really reach out to the ecosystem, the developer ecosystem and have them think about very interesting ideas of how this can be done and uh, you come up with unique ways of solving various business problems. Our target in fact is the end users. We want to solve the problem of the end users to be able to engage in the digital ecosystem in their languages. For example, if a citizen wants to access any kind of government services, right, they should be able to do that in their languages. If a user wants to engage in e-commerce activities, right, e-commerce transactions, shopping, they should be able to do that in their languages. If a user wants to uh, uh, provide any kind of feedback, let's say uh, provide, a, uh, provide a review in their languages, they should be able to do that. Uh, if a user wants to book a ticket, they should be able to do that in their languages. So everything that an English language user is able to do on the internet today, uh, we believe that those are the things that uh, any user who is comfortable with a language other than English in Indian languages, they should be able to do that as easily. So essentially, we are, our platform is solving the problem of user engagement in their languages to have more and more, uh, more and more users included in the digital uh, revolution that's happening in India. And like I said before, we have taken an approach where we are building the platform ourselves and we are inviting. So developers and coders are one way of inviting new ideas that can use our platform to build solutions for various kinds of uh, for business problems that are already existing. LASP platform is a complete stack, user engagement stack for Indian languages. There are uh, three components essentially to that. The first one is our ability to handle content. So any business that, that wants to engage with its end users needs to have content in their uh, own languages. So we have a bunch of technologies which are powering uh, automated content conversion. We have transliteration. We have a machine translation, and once you have content in 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 various languages, and for engaging, you also need interfaces. So you need text-based interfaces. 
you need speech based interfaces so these are also some of the things that are part of our uh, language as a service platform and uh, then we also have things like natural language understanding to be able to un interpret the queries that the users are providing either through their through text input or through voice which can be taken which can be interpreted and relevant results can be provided to the users for further further engagement so uh, reliance is essentially solving the problem for same audience in india that we are also uh, solving uh, if you notice uh, as part of reliance geo uh, in fact geo has been our customer uh, uh, and the the text related uh, solutions which are there in geo devices they are actually uh, reveries uh, so reliance is working on mobile phones they are working on set up boxes uh, they may also have plans of uh, entering e-commerce and they are essentially working for the Indian audience, the Indian consumers, which is also our target audience. And <coughs> uh, language will become a very important piece in what Reliance is trying to do for its end users. Therefore, this particular partnership is, is a mutually beneficial partnership. Uh, <coughs> through Reliance, we get a platform where our technologies can reach masses and the reliance uh, instead of having to develop all the language technologies themselves they can uh, get those through the partnership that right now that's there between uh, Revry and reliance for more updates from cxo tv please like and subscribe to our channel